the end of the accounting period, the company makes the accounts ready for the next period. This is called closing the books. Temporary accounts relate only to a given accounting period. They include all income statement accounts and the dividends account. The company closes all temporary accounts at the end of the annual accounting period. Think red, revenue, expenses, and dividends. All temporary accounts will contain data for the entire year. Whereas permanent accounts relate to one or more future accounting periods, they consist of all balance sheet accounts. Permanent accounts are not closed. The company carries forward these balances into the next accounting period. Retained earnings is determined by three items, revenues, expenses, and dividends. Revenues increase retained earnings and expenses and dividends decrease retained earnings. At the end of the annual accounting period, the company transfers the temporary account balances to retained earnings. Closing entries formally recognize in the ledger the transfer of net income or net loss to retained earnings, as well as dividends to retained earnings. Closing entries also produce a zero balance in each temporary account. These accounts are then ready to accumulate data in the next accounting period. Companies generally journalize and post only at the end of the annual accounting period. Companies close the revenue and expense accounts to another temporary account called income summary. The balance in income summary before it is closed must equal net income or net loss for the period. The income summary account is used only in closing. No entries are posted to this account during the year. The balance in this account, net income or net loss, is transferred to retained earnings. The dividends account is closed directly to retained earnings and not to income summary because dividends are not an expense. Focus on the accounts you need to close. Draw a line below retained earnings. The accounts below the line are temporary accounts. You need to close out these accounts. In essence, make them zero. For example, Dividends has a debit balance of $500. You need to credit this account for $500 to close it out or make it zero. Service revenue has a credit balance of $10,600. So you will need to debit this account for the same amount to close this one out or make it zero. All of the accounts above the red line are permanent accounts because their balances are carried forward into the next accounting period. For example, if you have cash of $15,200 on October 31st, you have cash of the same amount on November 1st. Likewise, if you owed the bank $5,000 on October 31st, you still owe the bank the same amount on November 1st. The last thing I want to mention before we get to the closing entries. The trial balance reports retained earnings at zero, but the retained earnings statement shows a balance of $2,360. We need to update the retained earnings account for both net income and dividends. The closing process records four entries. In the first entry, we debit each revenue account for its balance and credit income summary for total revenues. In the second entry, we debit income summary for total expenses and credit each expense account for its balance. The balance in income summary before it's closed must equal net income or net loss for the period. The balance in this account, net income or net loss, is transferred to retained earnings. So we debit income summary and credit retained earnings for the amount of net income or net loss. 
the dividends account is closed directly to retained earnings and not to income summary because dividends are not an expense. After you post these entries, the balance in retained earnings agrees with the retained earnings statement. According to the adjusted trial balance, retained earnings has a balance of zero. After posting these closing entries, the balance in retained earnings is $2,360. This agrees with the amount that was reported on the retained earnings statement. This image summarizes the closing process using T-accounts. All temporary accounts have a zero balance.